Hi everyone, so today I will present to you my report which is the classification of radio and TV programs according to sponsorship and according to audience. According to sponsorship, radio programs aired are either sponsored, sustaining programs, or non-sponsored. In commercial radio and TV stations, Almost all programs are sponsored by advertisers. These companies use the broadcast programs to promote their products or services. They buy the airtime and the sponsored program is aired at a particular time. So, as we can observe, if nakikinig kayo ng mga radyo, kasi dito sa amin, parati kami nakikinig ng radyo, ang daming promote na mga products and services at saka may mga places din for events. So, doon na pumapasok yung sponsorship na tinatawag natin. So, di lang naman sa radyo, pati sa TV din. Di ba napapansin natin ang daming advertisements, ang daming promote na mga products, damit, mga pagkain, bahay, sasakyan, at marami pang iba. So, binibili nila yung airtime na yun para ma-promote yun nila lahat. At in-air lang yung mga programang yun sa particular na oras. The advertisements or commercials are interspersed within the body of the program. Among the earliest sponsored programs are the radio dramas called soap operas because they used to be sponsored by soap companies. So, yung mga programang iyon is naka-insert na doon sa body ng program or sa flow ng program or naka-interval na yun. At nabanggit doon kanina na yung earliest um, sponsored program ay radio dramas called Soap Operas dahil nga sponsored ito ng soap companies. So, the soap opera begun in the early 1930s with 15-minute daytime radio episodes. So ngayon, yung naririnig ko sa radio is about sa mga product ng herbal capsules, yung mga, um, yung sayaki, yung kay Mami Joy, yung sasabon din, like Arivin, at marami pang iba. So may kinukuha pa nga silang witness upang masabi nila yung experiences nila sa certain product upang may kayat yung mga taong bumili o mag-avail nun. In community radio stations like DZLB and DZUP, programs are non-sponsored. The programs are produced either by the radio staff or by the station operating agencies. So, sa community radio stations like DZLB and DZUP, yung mga programs na ini-air doon are non-sponsored. So, hindi siya sponsor ng kahit anong kumpanya. So, pinoproduce yun ng sarili nilang radio staff or ng mga station operating agencies. So, to summarize it all, sponsorship in radio and TV programs are very essential so that they can promote their very own products and so that people will have an idea if however they will avail it. So, in this platform, we can support our local businesses and also our TV and radio stations. So, the last is, according to audience, one unique characteristic of developmental radio programs is that they cater to a specific audience. They may cater to the youth, children, women, farmers, or other groups of people. So, sa radio programs, Napakalaking importansya ng mga audience kasi nga kung walang audience, wala din namang mga radio programs. So isang characteristics ng radio programs is kinikater niya hanggang sa specific audience. Mapayuth man yan, sa mga bata, sa women, sa farmers, or sa mga other groups of people, makikater yan lahat ng radio programs. So, sa radio programs, ang daming ini-air na mga importanteng informasyon. So, for example, ngayon na parang bumabalik na sa normal dahil nga nag-aalaw na ng face-to-face. 
So, nakikater yun ng mga audience, ng mga youth, or ng mga students. Kasi nga, um, importante yung inf- informations na yun sa kanila. So, napaka-importante ng radio programs dahil dito, na-aware tayo at na-inform tayo sa mga current issues na nangyayari sa ating paligid. So, that's the end of my report. Thank you and God bless.